Um, so we've talked about how repetition matters. Let's talk about actual concepts. When someone is learning Swift, what do you think are the most important concepts for them to focus on? Now, I'm going to go a little meta on this one um, because the, uh, you know, things like optionals, protocols, closures, like all that stuff is is equally important. Like, I don't think you should learn necessarily one before the other. I'm sure there's uh, some of them that make more sense to learn before the other, but mm. I wouldn't worry too much about what order should I learn this stuff in. I would, uh, again, I'm going to go meta, like I would worry about getting your, your mind right. Like I, I talked about it earlier, like having the right mindset, the right attitude of like, this is going to be hard. Uh, this is going to take a while. I'm going to have to, like I said, learn closures over and over and over again. So uh, like just again, having that mindset going into it with the right attitude, because like I mentioned, if you don't have the right attitude, you get frustrated, people quit. Like that's when you don't like programming. So Again, don't worry about the specific concepts you should go into. Just worry about getting your mind right, because I think that's I think that's what separates successful people to complete this journey versus people that quit and don't complete it is their attitude and their mindset. Right, mindset is is critical, as you say, because programming. When you make a mistake, it's never the computer's fault, or very rarely. I mean, yeah, yeah. Swift UI has a few bugs here and there. You know, <laughs> you might get something yeah. glitchy in places, but it's nearly always your fault or my fault we've typed in true rather than false we've we've had an off by one error and I, I i saw rob napier tweeting about this a few months ago saying that the first step in debugging a problem is admitting there is a problem somewhere in your code you've made a <laughs> fundamental logic error in your code somewhere thing you thought were true were not true and you've made a mistake from there and the bug is somewhere <laughs> backwards from there how, how many times That's have hard. you said how many times have you said that uh oh this can't this can't be me right something's got to be wrong with this code. <laughs> this can't be me i've said that so many times and uh, i'm always wrong <laughs> Well, Xcode particularly has gotten, uh, sometimes a, a quick restart makes core data work better, for example, um, which is a shame, but they're, you know, they're working on that. Um, but I think learning to say there is a logic error here and I'm just going to break it down to small chunks, work backwards from there to find the problem and then nail it and move on. It, I mean, we all know when you finally do it, it feels great. Like, yeah, I beat the computer, whatever it is. But that process can often be 10, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, an hour sometimes a day of pulling code to pieces and figuring out what's going on and you end up with, you know, print, I'm here, print, ah! <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah. Your brain's melting down. It's hard. And that's the hardest part of our job, I think, is really, really when it comes to the grind of fixing a hard bug, sticking with it, having the resilience to work through it, know it's in there somewhere, logic is in there somewhere, and, and getting it fixed over time is just, is just pure, pure willpower. Yeah, I, I do say that you have to uh, maybe not love the grind, but at least appreciate the grind, right? If every time you hit those roadblocks or that grind, you just crumple up into a ball and, you know, frustration and hate it, uh, you're going to have a rough career. <laughs> but if you like appreciate the grind and you know what's on the other end, uh, I think you're going to be good. Yeah. 